On 8th May, Cyclone Asani developed in the Bay of Bengal. Asani, a name given by Sri Lanka, means wrath in Sinhalese. The last cyclone that made landfall in India was named Javed by Saudi Arabia. But who decides the name of a cyclone? The World Meteorological Organization says there can be more than one cyclone at a time in one particular location. Thus, each tropical storm is given a name to avoid confusion. The names given to these storms are usually short and easy to pronounce. This helps in better communication during a disaster. Tropical cyclones are named according to the rules at the regional level. There are six regional specialized meteorological centers in the world and four regional tropical cyclone warning centers. These centers issue advisories and are responsible for the naming of cyclonic storms. The India Meteorological Department is one of the six regional centers. It gives a name to a cyclone that forms over the northern Indian Ocean and reaches a maximum sustained surface wind speed of 62 km per hour. The name is taken from a list which contains suggestions categorized alphabetically and country-wise. The names must be new and should not be repeated again. The word can have a maximum of 8 letters. It should not be offensive to any member country or hurt the sentiments of any group of population. In 2020, a fresh list was released with 169 names including 13 names from 13 member countries. The 13 member countries are Bangladesh, India, Iran, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, United Arab Emirates and Yemen. These countries name cyclones affecting the North Indian Ocean regions. Names from India that have been used before include Gati, Meg and Akash. The cyclone that will form after Asani will be called Sidram, a name given by Thailand.